Um, I've just done finished the exhaust on this Triumph build. If you've been following it, you will remember I did the exhaust in this number one cylinder. I hadn't done the downpipe. Um, since then, I fucking tried the radiator on, didn't I? It's like I thought it'd be fine, and it fucking wasn't. Bollocks. So what I've had to do is tweak them back. I've had to pull them back and fucking redo it. And I think it looks all right. I think it looks fucking just peachy. Bless them. So that's that. And I've uh, just finished as well. It's been a fucking day of it, stainless day. The uh, electric box. With a massive cutout for the fucking chain. So we've got the stainless electric box done, stainless exhaust system fucking done. Happy days. <laughs>
as you go around. I don't get distorted as much. Like, and you can you can pull quite a tight radius on that. Like that. You can only do outside edges. You can't do inside radii if that makes sense. You can't curve the other way. So that's worth bearing in mind. And we're just following that line. We're aiming to get rid of all of the mark plan that I made because we want it to be the size of the cardboard template, not the cardboard template plus plus the thickness of a mark pen line. So we've got that bit to play with. And just straight slightly. So try and pull that back in. Um, and we'll work our way around and, and follow it like that. And we end up with a lovely little curly whirler, little pigtail. A handy dandy fucking roller. Slip rollers that have enabled me to put that curve in that emulates the rear guard. So that will sit at the back with the top and the bottom, and it'll follow the rear guard, which is uh, for like a bit of consistency. That's what it's all about. So now we've got uh, three sides. We've got a little kit, haven't we? And I've marked which, what goes where, so it makes sense. In fact, that's outside. So that needs changing to out. And that faces that way. Sorry, I'm not showing it very well. And the top goes obviously that way. What I'll do, I'll, uh, I'll get my split roll to get an approximation. Let me just come round. An approximation of this angle, yeah? this angle and then we'll tack the top to the back and offer it up and go from there get the bottom in then we just need the wrap around bit and the cut out for the chain sounds dead simple but it's fucking not so here I'm uh, holding it in the vise and just flash tacking just to get it to fit and there's a bit of a bow in it like, as you can see there's a gap there where this is <laughs> that back section is fucking buried, but I've also rolled it, so I've got a bit of a twist in it. And we can endeavour to pull that about and get it where we want it using the third hand. I tried to do it just using my dad's uh, anvil, but nah, I can't do it. I need a grip. So that's what we're on with. I'll we'll get that tacked on, then we'll go over to the bike and offer it up, and then we'll tack the bottom piece in. So with the top and bottom in, We've uh, had to try and test and tribulation, and then we've now we're going back to CAD, back to cardboard aided design, and basically we've rolled this around and traced around it. Yeah, and that's given us the, the template that we need. We'll cut that out and uh, then trace around that on the stainless sheet and cut that out of the stainless, like so. There we go. So I've got him. I just need to do a little bit of sanding and peeling and degreasing and then we have the joys of trying to form it around the front of this so I think we're going to utilize one of my favorite bits of kit which is of course the pipe anvil so we're going to use this to form the curves rather than try and do it with a roller, I don't think the roller is going to do it. Or it may be well done, we'll see. I'll get that cleaned up anyway off camera. Um, just need to shape these properly. Like I said, me shear won't do uh, internal radii, so I've kind of cut it pretty straight. I'm going to dress it up with a sander and go from there. So we elected for the pipe anvil method and um, there's a video, I made a video, search it, you'll find it. Shows you how you use it, and you just basically you use the different size pipes and the gap between them to form, to bend this like, to shape. So I've done that, and I've got it near enough, so we've, uh, we've got Iron Man now, look. we've made Iron Man. And what we've got to do is fit that to that. So. I've got it near enough, it's near enough fitting and from there I can tack and form 
and get it where we need it to be. A quick update. We're just tacking and clamping and tweaking and doing a right, right pain in the fucking arse, to be honest. And me and stainless don't seem to get on. I don't know why. But there you go. And there we have it. All tacked up. Uh, welded across the back. Let's see if I can manipulate it, manhandle it into place while right, I'm on camera. Probably not, but there we go. So, let's fucking go. I'm gonna sit something a little like that. Yeah. With a cutaway. This side for the chain, obviously, a good fucking cutaway. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take it back to the bench, get it welded up, and then we can do that cutaway. We can look at, um, we need to cut a hole in the top. So we need access in the top. Most of this is gonna go. We're gonna leave, what, inch and a half all the way around, maybe? Um, inch and a quarter. Don't know. And then that big cutout for the chain. My right breath. There you fucking go. So I'm going to spend. Uh, I'm going to have a coffee now. Fucking, that was a game. Really, really difficult. Um, you can see the amount, the amount of tacks that I've put in this side. That's where I've pulled it in to, to make it fit. I've still got a few gaps here that I need to address. And then we'll give it a good clean up, a good sand, and a good weld. And look at cutting it up. <laughs> there you go. Rightio. So here we are me. Look, I'm having a brew and a thaw out. <clears throat> um, so, I'm hoping I don't get a copyright strike. But there it is. Cleaned up. Quick sand up like. Just knocked all the edges off. Um, next up, we've got to cut the top out of it. And I'm going to put a mountain in each corner at the back. And probably one in the middle coming off. Uh, move away from the music coming off here a tap coming down here with a bolt hole and one in each corner there is what I'm thinking or oh, could I might actually put one in each off there like so it's tucked in there ain't a lot going in it it's just a fucking few bits and bobs like so there it is gone cut the top out uh, what I decided I'm going to use a double bracket like oh some I've got one under there that's going to go like that, and two of the single versions that need drilling and shaping, obviously. And one's going to go each side, there and there. And that is pretty much how we're going to mount it. So I've got to clean this up a little bit. I'm going to have to get in with a finger file or, or something. Um, the sanding disc only fits in th three sides, and there's six, so... I won't get a die grinder on it or something, I'm not sure, but we'll give it a good clean up and we'll get those brackets um, shaped and drilled, pretty much drilled, it's just corners to knock off, and we'll transfer those through and bolt them to the box, and then we'll get the box over to the bike and get those brackets tacked on, and uh, then it's just the cutout for the chain, yeah, which is going to take a fucking big chunk of that side out, no problem. And mounting of the electrics, we've got a little uh, fucking one of them new lithium batteries that's like the size of a fucking fag packet. We've got three coils, a starter solenoid, and the igniter box. Um, that's just off the bat. We'll see about relays, red lights, and shit like that. Although with LEDs, there's no drain, so maybe not. Oh, ignition switch, fuck me. I need the ignition switch mounting in there as well, obviously. But so far, so good. We've done the old Iron Man coal scuttle fucking stainless electrics box. Uh, and we'll get on and get the last bits of it done. <laughs> Brackets are made, made single and double chats, the drilled 
and cleaned up I can clamp them on where I want them and just transfer through with a twist drill and that'll give me an indication and I'll drill them out so that's got it drilled uh, and mounted at the rear the front so I'm going to have to make some spaces because we've got too much of a gap we're going to see the bracket hanging down I don't like that and we just need to drop it ever so slightly to get that gap consistent which I will tweak as I mount it I'm going to spin up some um, stainless spacers half inch thick 8 mil old about an inch OD and we'll bolt them in place and then tack those front brackets in and uh, then we're onto the chain slot cut out which is going to be magnificent I think I mean the fucking it sits really low it's going to come fucking like this you know big chunk of shit out of it which is fine absolutely fine okay so we've got a bit of stainless mounted I just need to face this off to get rid of that the remnants of uh, the last job that this was used for and now we can centre drill it and do it 8 mil clearance oh, good night. nice cut here, I think this is another bit of that 303 stainless oh, nearly there This will do it. Just break that edge. And in the centre drilling. Which I want my tool out of the way. <coughs> Just clear, I want my tool post snugged up a bit more so. Not got so much sticking out on the tailpipe. Oh, look, here he is. <coughs> a bit of loop because that's what separates us from the animals. Merchandise available. The link below this video on your mobile device or in the description. Cheers, then. Right, let's pilot it. Now we're going to go uh, 8 mil clearance. Nice carbide bit. I think we can keep it at that speed. There we go. I'll join you again once I'm through. First route. I'll switch out to uh, chamfer tool just to give myself a bit of chamfer on the hole. Like so. Good touch. Right. Now we need to slow it down and get a parting tool, parting pull. In. So we're an half inch, don't we? I said so. It's half inch. Do me if you want to go faster. Plenty of loop. Save the tool. Make no smoke to the camera. Thing. It's just about enough material to get the other one out of as well, looking at it. So, here we go. Happy days. So, there's one. I'll get, I'll chuck this back up the other way around and just chamfer that, get rid of that rag and break the edge. Um, the bit that's remaining, I'll probably spin around and measure half inch off the back and then part it off and dress the edges and uh, happy days, I'll join you back over at the bike. 
Okie fucking dokie. Look, we've got an even gap down the front and even gap underneath the see finish. We can get it, you know. Curves and shapes being different. Different angles look different, but we're mounted up. We've got those spacers in, chunky monkeys. I'm tempted to tick them on, to stack them with a tick so they become part of it. Um, but I guess there's no real need to. And now what I need to do is work out where the top of the chain is going to run because it's going to come from the top of the sprocket it's going to run across into the front sprocket which means it will circumnavigate and <laughs> won't go round will it it'll cut across this fucking box basically so uh, I'm going to try and get a rule in or something to give myself a mark and I know from experience you can see the top of my head look I know from experience that um, I need to go more than I think it don't give yourself a good fucking gap is the, the thing there because chains do fucking bounce up and down a bit you don't want it rattling against the underside of your fucking electrics box as you're going down the road now do you okay so we've got the meter rolling off the top focus top of the sprockets yeah and that's giving us a line and we've come up three quarters of an inch which i think should be plenty and we've We've continued that line on using a, a springy rule, bendy rule. Focus again, come on. Yeah, bendy rule, it's older than me. And then we've traced down the inside of the mug guard, the edge of the mug guard, and we're gonna join up the dots. The only one I need to work through is this fucker. See where this comes. We can try and get a square off the back to get that in. So we've uh, marked it out proper, started cutting, and it's just a case of working through with a chop saw. We've cut this. So we've uh, cut that out, and I've started patching it in, just putting a piece in in the bottom, literally just lay it on <coughs> like that, I'm gonna do it. Draw around the join and then trim it up to so tack tack, world world tack tack. And that's now in place, cleaned up, ready for a polish. Um, what I do need to do, I've checked across and there's clearance there, I think it's fine. Um, obviously now, obviously, but what I've now got to do is mount the ignition switch and the electrics that are gonna go inside. Uh, so, that'll finish that off nicely. And uh, that's it for the stainless, oh, I think, here's me saying that. I think that's it for the stainless fabrication. So, I'll be happy days, look. You can see it in all its glory from this side, but... That's, uh, I'm just fighting my toolboxes. I'm, I'm hugging a toolbox to get this shot, to show you that that's how it sits. That's the old front wheel, tempera. We've got to make the uh, disc adapters, which is probably going to be next on the agenda. We've got a nice chunky bit of uh, aluminum minimum to do that. So stay tuned for further updates. It just leaves me to thank you for watching. Uh, and please subscribe, give us a like, drop us a comment, yada yada, check my friends and merch in the description below. Take care and I'll see you on the next one.